Why is the slope zero? Well, um, here we have a line, right? And it looks like it's a flat line. It's not going up, it's not going down, it's going straight across. And um, so we have, we're given two points, negative four, negative three, and three comma negative three. And one thing we notice is that our y coordinates are both the same, negative three. So whenever you see the y coordinates are the same, something very interesting is gonna happen. So let's remember, remember, let's remind ourselves what slope means. Slope is the change in the y over the change in the x, right? So, you know, sometimes we say slope is delta y, which is change over delta x. So if I was just going to write the slope formula, uh, for those of you that remember m, which represents slope, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now, for this problem, uh, we don't really need to fill them in. Now, we, I will do that to show you, but you can see how, is, um, how am I changing from negative 3 to negative 3. Am I adding or subtracting any numbers? to get from negative three to negative three? No, you could say it's really unchanged or zero. And then get from negative four to three, well, for to get to negative four to zero, I had to travel four units. And then to get to zero to three, I had to travel three units. So the positive distance I traveled was seven. Or you can just plug in the points. Let's make this x1, y1. Let's make this x2, y2. So therefore, I have negative 3 minus 3, or minus a negative 3, all over um, x, x2, which would be 3, minus a negative 4, which gives me, again, that becomes double negative, 0 over 7. Now, 0 divided by 7 is always going to equal 0, because 7, how many times is 7? divide into 0, right? Well, we know that 7 goes into 7 one time, but 7 does not go into 0 any time. So therefore, the answer is 0. And that's it. So whenever you guys see the slope or you see two points, and the two, and the two y points are exactly the same, you know you're going to have a slope of 0.